Guys, welcome into Crypto Info, blockchain made easy with your host, Frank the Crypto Tank. Please tap that like and subscribe button down below and do not forget our Caleb link as well. Thanks for joining us. Algorand is one of those blockchains that doesn't always get the spotlight, but when you dig into it, you realize it's built very differently from most of the crypto projects out there. It launched in 2019, created by Silvio Micali, a professor from MIT who won the Turing Award, which is basically the Nobel Prize for computer science. This wasn't a project thrown together by random coders. This came from one of the top cryptographers on the planet. The whole idea behind Algorand is it's solving what's called the blockchain trilemma. That's the balance between security, decentralization, and scalability. Most chains sacrifice one of the three. Algorand claims to do all of them at once. And it does this using a consensus system, of course, called pure proof of stake. Here's how it works in plain language. Instead of burning electricity like Bitcoin or relying on a few giant validators like Ethereum sometimes does, Algorand uses what you could call a cryptographic lottery. Every time a block needs to be added, the system randomly selects who gets to propose the block. And then it randomly selects a committee to actually vote on it. And these selections happen using advanced math called verifiable random functions. To get very technical. And they happen so fast and so fairly that nobody can predict or manipulate the outcome. The result is that blocks on Algorand finalize in just a few seconds with no forks, no rollbacks, no waiting for multiple confirmations. And once it's in, it's done. That's what institutions love. Absolute certainty that a transaction is final. They can count on it. Today, Algorand handles thousands of transactions per second with finality in under four seconds, and it does it in an energy efficient way. Now, let's compare this to XRP. The XRP ledger also delivers finality in about three to five seconds, but it uses a different approach. Of course, XRP relies on something called a unique node list or a UNL, which is basically a curated group of validators that work together to agree on the state of the ledger. Algorand, on the other hand, does not use a curated list. It lets anyone who holds tokens participate, but it keeps it efficient by using that lottery system we talked about earlier. So what do you get? With XRP, you have a payment specialist. It was designed from the ground up to move money across borders and provide liquidity. Now with Algorand, you get more of a Swiss army knife. It handles payments too, but it also bakes in tokenization, smart contracts, digital identity. XRP handles some of these things as well. And now Algorand also does something called raking, which allows you to swap out the keys on your current account without changing the actual account itself, which can be very valuable. And here's where Algorand really shines. It's already being used for central bank digital currency experiments. And no, we don't like that. It is what it is. The Marshall Islands chose Algorand for its CBDC project. Now, in Latin America, governments have been partnering with companies building registries and identity systems on Algorand. Okay. And on top of that, Algorand runs carbon negative. That means it offsets more carbon emissions than it actually produces. It gives it a huge edge with institutions that are very concerned about ESG commitments. Okay. Now, let's be clear. Algorand and XRP are not enemies here, of course. They're each in their lane, performing similar functions with certain tasks and separate functions with others. They're both ISO 20022 compliant, which means they're designed to plug into the new global banking messaging standard. They're both energy efficient, and they both settle transactions far faster than a traditional finance could ever dream of. The difference is focus, okay? XRP is laser focused on payments, liquidity, and the banking network that Ripple has built. Algorand is focused on being a broad platform for tokenization, asset settlements, and digital infrastructure projects. Both are likely to play big roles in the new financial system that's coming. So if you're watching XRP, and I know most of you are, Algorand is worth paying attention to as well. Because in the future, where money, stocks, bonds, and identities are all tokenized, uh, we're going to need different rails working together. There's not going to be one chain to rule them all. There's going to be an interoperability between a number of chains. XRP for global liquidity, Algorand for tokenization and programmable money, and the two complement each other more than they compete with each other. 
So that's the story of Algorand, okay? It's a blockchain designed for speed, fairness, and finality with a unique consensus system, real-world government adoption, and a role to play alongside XRP in the future of finance. Thanks for tuning in, guys, to Crypto Info Blockchain Me Easy with Frank the Crypto Tank. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please tap that like and subscribe button down below and please tap our Caleb link down below as well. We appreciate you. We love you guys very much and thanks for joining us. See you next time. Have a uh, we found the smoking gun. I mean, sandal. Um, we found the smoking sandal. <laughs>